Hey friends, welcome to MATLAB school. Uh, in this video, we are going to discuss about the speed controller for BLDC motor using PA controller. See, you look at the uh, Simulink model. Here we have uh, BLDC motor block. Uh, here we have a reference speed. Uh, these are the scopes to measure stator current, speed, torque, as well as back EMF and Hall effect uh, sensors output. Uh, here we are giving the uh, torque reference to the build DC motor as input. <coughs> Inside this block, we will find the voltage source uh, that acts as the DC link for the six switch inverter here. Okay, and here we have the uh, PWM inverter, I mean PWM uh, pulse generator. Uh, right. Uh, let us run this model for 0.5 seconds. So I have given the sampling time as 5 e per minus not 7. You can vary the time period also. Uh, this block will uh, find out the difference between the reference speed as well as the actual speed. Uh, this PA controller will produce some output based on the error that is being generated uh, by this block and that is given as input to this block. Okay. See on the other side we have another one signal coming from this. Uh, this block decoder block will get the signal from the Hall sensor and that is converted to uh, back EMF. Okay, so here we are uh, estimating the back EMF from the output of Hall effect sensor. Uh, so from this truth table, we are uh, defining this circuit. So based on the input of I mean, based on the output of Hall sensor, the EMF will be generated. So, based on that estimated EMF, uh, we are producing the gates or pulses to the gates uh, with respect to this truth table. Okay, so far uh, it has run for a 76 percentage. We shall look at the stator currents now. So you have a look at the stator current. This is A phase, B phase and C phase. Speed. Uh, see our set speed is 1500. See initially you can see the overshoot of speed going uh, near to 2000 rpm but uh, after a certain time it is settling down at 1500 rpm and this is the torque so here we are seeing a huge fluctuation the reason is we are not controlling the torque uh, rather we are controlling the speed of the machine uh, if the torque has to be controlled we need to go for another one loop and this is the uh, back EMF Hall effect output relationship. Uh, the yellow lines represents the yellow waveform represents the back EMF, and the blue color pulses represents the uh, Hall sensors output. This is for the A phase. Uh, like this, we can generate or we can uh, uh, visualize the back EMF and Hall effect. Uh, relationship between B phase and C phase as well. Right. Uh, see here, uh, we have just a single loop for controlling the speed. If we want to control the torque, we need to have another own loop uh, which controls the current. Okay. Uh, 
so that will control the torque of the system uh, see this file this file is available for download in the given link below if you want you can download it and you can use it thank you